A day after the arrest and one child murder investigation in Kansas City, investigators in Kansas City, Kansas, believe they have the car used in the drive by shooting that killed 10 year old Nicole Stewart. KBC 9's Eli Rosenberg is live outside KCK Police Headquarters. Well, this development with the car is a big deal for McColl's family because they say it is giving them hope. Something else is also giving them hope. That is yesterday's developments where two people were charged in Angel Hooper's murder over in Kansas City, Missouri. Angel's family and McColl's family have gotten close in recent weeks, united in the worst pain of their lives. It's really quiet. When you live at the scene of where your granddaughter was murdered, everything is a daily reminder. This is where I gotta be. Through her grief, Kimberly Blackman has never lacked determination. As she maintains a vigil for 10 year old McCole Stewart. Whatever I know, whatever I hear, whatever somebody tell me, I will be telling. So, get, you gonna get caught. McCole was shot and killed last month. That's a lot of bullet holes. Police stopped counting at 15. They made a motive and it was the wrong motive. They came and sprayed up the house and, and they hit a little girl. As the investigation continues, McColl's family has bonded with Angel Hooper's family, including at this parade last Sunday, demanding justice for both. Something Angel's family got just yesterday. It made me happy, and I know she feel of joy. That's the feeling I'm gonna get. A joy, she says, will finally let her rest, as she maintains that constant reminder to all she's lost. They gonna solve it. They gonna solve it. They sure is, because I'm not going to stop till they do. Well, see y'all later. The police chief tells me here that her detectives continue to work hard on this investigation every day, and that work is showing some signs. They've identified several persons of interest in this investigation as McColl's family continues to wait for answers. I'm in Kansas City, Kansas. Eli Rosenberg, KNBC 9 News.